what's going y'all happy friday back with another one going over to come wait this time celeste is suiting up in this suit that we'll see her in for the remainder of the chapter and however long it takes for her to complete her event her little detour in the space station she's about to explore let's get right into it when I came up with the idea for the space suit, I knew I wanted something that was more light. Light, because it's like a sci-fi fantasy story. So, the design of it is more akin to something you might see in like, The Expanse or Star Wars. Not too bulky to where she can't move if she needs to like, get into a fight. But just enough to suspend your disbelief. And like one of the major features of her suit is that the helmet is retractable. Like it it can just dissipate in breathable environments. So there's a plus to that. It was around this page I started messing with the idea of doing shell shading, but also like hard dark shadows like pure black as you see here with the rendering of her popping out of the panels in one of these chapters i'm eventually gonna get javi out of his pilot seat and join celeste in one of these adventures with his own spacesuit of course but for now he's stuck guarding the ship in case anything goes wrong which you know it probably will but that's neither here nor there for now for now we're just focusing on the render and what's happening on the page when i thought about her outfit obviously i went to pinterest but in the back of my mind was like What would I do if I designed the same suits when Vegeta never first showed up? Or like, just stuff I hobbled together from playing Starfield, whether you liked it or not. As far as like space exploration goes and the, those aspects, they hit it right on the mark for people like me but you can be honest what do you think of her outfit because you're going to be seeing it a lot for these next oh no 20 some odd pages to like the next chapter too on another note a friend of mine asked me what Javi and Celeste's relationship was, and for the love of God, there is none. Strictly platonic, if anything, they're like work partners. Funny thing, I haven't, anim haven't illustrated yet, but a little bit of backstory. Javi is like a Makas, which is like sort of a, a mage to Celeste. Venator, bounty hunter type character and usually they're paired off randomly Holly had his own ship and on their first job together she blew it up and that's essentially how she, she became indebted to Javi and they've just been stuck with each other ever since but yeah, in next week's lore field building video get to see two of Celeste's partners not too much on them but they've had a interesting effect on how she proceeds romance and being desired and all of those things and some of those experiences are reflected on my own life 
shade through a more dram dramatic lens as you'll see in the illustration whenever it gets posted I thought about having Celeste take her drawn out for this chapter but when I was going over the script I was already introducing a new character and I did want to it with more moving parts so to speak only so much you can focus on at a, at a time and this is only chapter 3 there will be time for that later on I had to pause and think cause damn this is chapter 3 the story I started for me not too long ago and it's just ideas bouncing off the wall where I can go next 10 chapters down the line 20 chapters down the line already know how it's gonna end it's just getting there that's eating away at me but to those who've been watching or have even bought the comics when I had them out on physical thank you for the support it's not going to waste as you can see it's moving forward Still changes as always, but the story remains the same. We're near the end of the video. Just want to plug all my socials in the bio in the description below. Share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch me on Twitch. I stream every other day, or at least try to. And as always, stay rotten. Peace.